Anyway, speaking of trash talking, trash talking in gaming. Fair enough, last time I used it was in 2016. Dude, it's broken. I've tried it. It's funny. New one? No, no, no. This is old. Did you wait one week for Act Man? Yeah, I waited one year, by the way. It's the trash man! He's taking out the trash! Get your punk corn. Yeah, everyone, get your punk corn. 30 minute video by Mr. Trash Man. I would like to watch it. Boom, boom, boom. It's my character. I'm the trash man. I come out and I throw the trash all over, all over the ring. Then I start eating garbage. Then I pick up the trash can and I bash the guy with it. God, I love this one. Okay, I haven't, I actually haven't watched this one like ever, so I'm ready. We are watching a Mr. Actman trash tech, trash talk in gaming. The acting meal. Big forearms, by the way. What's up, class? This is your new teacher here today. Hello. The act historian. Gay. You can lick my <laughs> fat, hairy butthole. What? Is what I would say if I was making a video on trash talk and trying to keep it monetized. Here's a little <laughs> bit about me. I am a preserver, a keeper of old and sacred knowledge. I remember the days of Croit in Halo 2. The legendary disc the scamp dropped on Low Tier God. I remember the infamous brolic black Laquites. And of course, I have paid witness to the notorious- I literally remember sitting in a COD lobby with my brother's headphones on because he told me to, and just listening to people rage at each other. It was so funny. <laughs> it's so good, man. I have kept a record of these and many other instances of famous trash talk and video So much games. rage. It's all here. For years, ba -ba 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 I trash talk in between those rare moments when I wasn't sleeping with your mother. I want to uncover the <laughs> mysteries and ask the hard questions. Is it, but is it not too to loud? Say, hey, maybe Please if tell your me mother if aborted you, we wouldn't have lost this match. The questions only get harder from there. But as the act historian, I believe my mom's dead. The yeah, they're probably answers. welcome to my balls. Parts. Population, your mouth. So class, open your textbooks to page 69. Ha 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 ha. Got him. And we'll start today's lesson. Oh shit, Diablo Tool the best strategy guide. I had this one. I had this one right there, right there. I had it. I had it. I had it. I'd rub his mom's dead feet. If your friends are bullying someone, you should tell them to stop. Do not pick on anyone. There's no there's nothing funny about it. I'm gonna Shut the fuck up. I'll do what I want. I love trash talking people. I love it. It's funny. And your mother Hilarious. over my knee, shave her ass hair, roll it up in a blunt, and make you smoke it. <laughs> this isn't about me being good. It's about him being trash. Why am I so much better than you? I don't care if I sound like a child. My IQ's 144. That's one point behind Einstein. What do you have? <laughs> These people are real, dude. <laughs> That's what I get behind Einstein. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at him walking away with their heads down. Garbage team. You pay me 10k a month, I might turn back. Just kidding. Holy you shit. What is this game about? Are you kidding me? I am losing my mind. If we have any young to disrespect kids, chatters, to kids of any age, like, do not bully people. But before we jump into it, this video is sponsored by a friend of mine. Kachow. By Boys your mom. Girls, you need to head to alienclothing.com. Oh, to this is freaking that alien guy. Whatever his name is. Oh, um, Elvis the Alien. It's an clothing brand started by my boy Elvis the Alien in 2017. The hey. white and black combo Elvis on this the shirt. Balian. I got this sexy ass cyberpunk jean jacket. There's a ton Whoa. of styles for people who love video games, movies, Sorry, aliens, science Act fiction, face and right now. God forbid, even anime. 
If your interests oh, even shit, moderately yeah, align yeah, with man. mine, there's something you're gonna want at AlienClothing.com. Belvin the Alien. Let's be honest, fellas. We all need a wardrobe Belvin update. The okay. I can't tell you how many compliments I've gotten on some of these shirts. And like, as a guy, we know that's rare. Anime right? Am I right, fellas? <laughs> so who knows? You might grab the attention of some pretty girl you're interested in. And then when you guys are dancing yeah, in the I don't club, know about and that she chat. says, "Let's go back to my place," you whisper in her ear. Go to AlienClothing.com and use code <laughs> ACTMAN to get 20% off your whole order. Alien doesn't Alien! often restock their items, so once they sell out, chances are they're gone for good. But they're oh, constantly shit. updating the shop with new designs, so be sure to check back in. So what are you waiting for? Go to AlienClothing.com. Yeah, I don't know. I've never won an anime use thing inside, outside of, like, the off. house in Thank my life. Thank you, Elvis the Alien, for sponsoring well, this I video. Well, I finally noticed me. Totally. different. Boom. First, we need to establish what trash talk is. What am mm -hmm. I referring to? Because there's a big difference between getting pissed at a game <laughs> and shouting, you serve zero purpose. You should kill yourself now. There's... <laughs> It gets me every time. Trash man. talk in a competitive no! setting, like a tournament with professionals and potential monetary incentives. I love his delivery. It's just so trash over the top and excessive. Randoms, you happen to meet up in the game, and then there's trash talk with your friends. Nice. Your fruit killing skills are remarkable. <laughs> oh wow! Everyone's Thank interpretations you. are going to be a bit different. So when people say trash talk has no place in gaming, it's like, well, what do you mean? What are you referring to? As Xbox's support page says, know the difference between trash talk and harassment. Are you fucking kidding me? This is actually on an Xbox page. Xbox's support page says, know the di refers to joking banter that encourages in conversation. It makes a player feel less welcome. <laughs> Bully hunters, dude! I remember Bully Hunters. That was so funny, difference dude. Difference between trash talk and harassment. I hope you wake up crucified, dude. I hope your dog dies the moment you love it the what? most. This is a type of harassment that over 21 million female gamers have experienced. It Dude, I literally played with my mic off and it was the best time of my life when I played Dota because nobody knew I was a girl. They couldn't just tell me to go make a sandwich. I just shit talked them in text and that was it. Yeah. Bully Santa was so crazy, it was unreal. It happened. Dude, I know. I legitimately remember laughing my fucking ass off at the statistics that they were putting up. It was at this moment where we saw that it was not- I actually thought about getting a voice changer to sound like a boy. Bam, I hope you get flung off this planet by an unfeeling cosmic wizard, you fucking doormat. You <laughs> fucking doormat! The debate around trash talk has gained significant traction Love over it, the last decade. With articles such as, Why we trash talk, mysteries revealed, toxic gaming behavior, trashing talking, uh -huh. trashing talking trashing and many talking. game developers mm. have sought out ways to be more inclusive ubisoft creating a code of conduct to tackle toxicity in rainbow six siege listen up if you play rainbow rainbow six you should now i'm kidding i'm kidding it's a joke it's a joke you could just say you're a 14 year old boy i went on the russian servers and i turned on my um what is it called I turned on my voice chat and they said I was a 14 year old boy. I'm not even joking. I had to convince them to, that I was a girl. They were like, hey. <laughs> they were like, hey. <laughs> Are you a fucking boy? And I'm like, no, I'm actually a girl. And they were like, oh. Okay, prove it. And I was like, I'm not fucking proving myself to you, you fucking freaks. Hi, comics. How's it going? Yeah, okay, kid. No, it was they 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 could not be convinced. They were like, You're a you're a twelve year old boy and I'm like, No. Then quote no, unquote I'm not. safe. Yeah, so we're here to create a safe space for all gamers, everybody, and that kind of stuff will not be tolerated. This often translates to cracking show. down harder on banter in Hi, game how are you? or outright I'm good. disabling it. Watching a funny words video in the text chat. J A P. You cannot type in J A P. That means you cannot type in Japan, it becomes what? Jan. You can't Jan. get as creative with your gamer tags nowadays. Microsoft completely banned my online identity. And so they said that since Naked Eli suggests a nude individual that has suggestive tones, 
and that, that is so unhinged, man. Is Alana real fox girl proof? I'm right here, bitch! Looking right at me! Xbox can and will ban you for trash talk now? Oh, absolutely. Japan is clearly offensive. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Playing Siege is a surefire way of get, get your ass sent to the gulag. Dude, I... I got called a squeaker before as well. That goes against the terms of service where you're not allowed to have anything that's profane or sexual. Yep. What is okay to say? What isn't? How do you I know? I call the squeaker. Should teabagging another player get you banned from a tournament and subsequent- Pro ban from tournament for teabagging teammate? Bro, I did that as a joke to my friends. It doesn't mean anything, dude. That is such pussy shit. I'm not even joking. Like, I get it's kind of bad sportsmanship, but like, oh my god, this reminds me, oh my god. Oh my god, dude. I remember my friend was playing in a Halo tournament, and I remember they said no, no teabagging. And he did it anyway, and then he got disqualified, and he said worth. Yeah, this was like, in 2011? Or 12? It was like in middle school, it was like a tiny little tournament at school that they did as a joke. And I was like, dude, <laughs> like you're crazy. You got disqualified as a joke? Like, what's wrong with you? It's it's funny. Getting tea back is funny. Quintly castrated? There are some folks who believe so. When people think of trash talk and gaming, they likely picture two balding, malding 24 year olds shouting at each other in Call of Duty lobbies. It's true, though. Oh, it is. But. Ladies and gentlemen, this is trash it's talk so at its funny, most man. basic and unrefined. I don't claim to have all the answers. However, trash talk at its core is merely a simple. <laughs> Hold on. I need to show you guys something. Who do you think you are? I am. This is such a classic. It's literally 30 seconds. I'm sorry. This is so funny. I remember the first time I saw this, I literally could not stop laughing for like. I don't know, I like 20 minutes. I was laughing. <laughs> oh, what was that other one? Are you moving on my approach? On my approach? Oh yeah, this is another good one. Hard to tell from- He got mad at a photographer for moving in the back somewhere to get a nicer picture of him, and he got mad at them. Hard to tell from- This opens. But again. Like, yeah, this is soft trash shocking, but still, like, dude. <laughs> of man's eternal I hear struggle that flash, for yeah. Because when you hit that sick 360 no scope to win the match, you're gonna Throw let your fucking everyone ball, bitch. know about it. Do it, Tim. Oh, oh, you oh shit! Oh, I the game! I Getting into the mind of your opponent is a key but highly it controversial is. tactic in war. You see pro athletes do it in football. Hell, the hockey refs straight up let players beat the <laughs> sh- Really? They let people beat each other up in hockey? Are you kidding me? Like, actually? Yes? One minute fight? Yo, that's actually based as fuck, man. Holy shit, look at them. They're fucking doking it. Look at that ref. He's like, okay, cool. They have goons for this. That's awesome, dude. They love fist fighting. Is it beautiful? I mean, it's kind of hard to fight on the ice, but yeah. They literally have people just to fight. The ref's enjoying it. Yeah, he's just like, oh. He is still a fan, but I thought, oh, that's fucking cool, man. Dude, in Dota 2, I remember, um, you know, you guys know you can't, like, shit talk each other, obviously, in, like, a Dota championship, right? Like, you can't do that. What you can do is spam voice lines, and I remember, I can't remember what match it was, but Team Liquid was spamming some sort of funny voice line to trigger, um, the other team, and it worked. Because people started complaining about it and saying they should be disqualified that, but then the people were like, no, it's part of the game. They're not trash talking them. All they did was spam voice lines that, that you can put in all chat. Like, ooh, ah. Like, I can't remember what it was exactly, but it was so funny that they actually got inside of their heads and it was fucking ruining their psyche. Whenever they made a mistake, 
It's so good. I love that. Shit out of each other. But as the age old It was OG. Goes, yeah, it was OG. It's only, it's only a game. Why you have to, Why be, you mad? Have to be mad? I don't even think a game like chess is exempt from smack talk. You know when you're was fun as fuck. you're running the mile and then someone laughs at you? That's kind of what happened with us with chess. Oh, uh -huh. oh, oh shit. I like how you're trash talking. Wow. You're really trying here. Sun Tzu is quoted as saying, Best The greatest strategy chess. in war is to verbally assault your opponents until they rage quit. <laughs> you can do that on Overwatch? You used to be able to, but yeah. <laughs> Base. <laughs> Baseage. Sun Tzu was a base strategist. Yes, this is a quote from his book. If you don't make your opponent flip the board, are you even playing chess? Oh, yeah. This is God, largely why flip. Genghis Khan was so successful in conquering large parts of Asia and China. True. The other teams got tilted and left. The thing about trash <laughs> talk is most online games offer ways to completely avoid it should your fragile ego not be able to handle mean words. Fuck you! What up? Shut the fuck up, you suck! You, you scream every time you die, you bitch. Shut the fuck up, fag! The mute button exists for a reason. <laughs> If someone's being super toxic, I, I don't know, block them. But on a more serious True. note, there Based. is stuff you shouldn't say or do. You are a fucking ugly little cunt, mate. And if I ever see you, I'm gonna fucking slit your fucking face wide open, yeah? Yet I think giving <laughs> players a choice in Jesus how they Christ, engage so with the game and others is much sucker. better than Thank simply you for the, fall, the asshole. social features. Nice name. Halo Reach had an interesting idea with its psych profile where you could opt into different types of lobbies. Do you prefer chatty, a good time, or rowdy? It was a neat idea. Rowdy. But now in Halo Infinite, you rarely hear other players talk in match. There's True. no post or pre-game lobbies to jerk yourself off and shit on the enemy I team. Me, like, what's imagine up? if From Software took out the point down emote because it was because it was so toxic. Removing the spit emote from World of Warcraft Classic, The Burning Crusade, because it made people upset when they got spit on when they had the mount. Yep. Yeah, I I remember that. I remember they said they would never at the classic token either. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, I remember this. I remember this very, very vividly. And I remember doing it and they would not let you. Mm -hmm. I fart on you. True. Blizz wouldn't lie, would they? No, no. They said no token, right? No, they would never add a token to hardcore. They would never make you pay $5 to revive your character to keep going. It's like, that would just be lame, dude. <laughs> lame? Now, lame. let's start with competitive trash talk, as I feel like it's the least controversial. Is this kid stupid? <laughs> Uh, uh, I, I, I think there's something wrong with them. The more a game <laughs> emphasizes... <laughs> I don't know why his facial expression was golden, man. I think there's something wrong with them. <laughs> and rewards so players good, for winning, the more likely they are to get heated when someone well, I imagine plays if you had like Overwatch, trash. like with open of mic, it's by the okay way. To humiliate your opponents I'll check. after a victory, but if you're an esports pro, you still need to be a professional. Um, you want to be professional, especially on the large scale, because there's people that are watching. You know, uh, the trash talk is exciting, but once the match is over, you know, some of us are still friends, even though we say some mean stuff. And you got to show everybody watching that you can be a professional gamer, you know and be respectful at that, shake their hands, good games. Sure. Whatever happens on the battlefield, you leave it on the battlefield. I think that's perfect. You know, yeah. keep the shit talk in the game and shortly after the game when your jungler ends up feeding. Professional <laughs> is a word that describes not just your abilities, but your attitude. Die in a fucking fire, please. Take football as an example. They usually screw in this Minecraft. ball up, but there's such a thing as a taunting penalty, which to me, taunting is like, okay, you're touching me. Don't touch me, bro. Don't touch me. Don't touch me, dude. That's what taunting is to me. So if you're getting in someone's face over a video game, Bolo taking out Scar with the pop-off. 
That's right, there's some beef. Personal foul. No Colin touching. King, this guy with the long hair, that's a 15 yard penalty. But who knows, maybe no people have a good reason for getting all fired up like this guy. Or if I just showed you Bonka a clip of I would not want to be yelled at by that you guy. You might think he's the antagonist in that situation. FPS team games can get pretty intense, but sometimes there's only one way for two men to settle their differences. By one punching each other! Me, bro. Guardian or Rust? Nowhere is the art of trash talk so perfectly captured than in the Street Fighter matchup between Viscant and Low Tier God. If you're gonna talk, then back it up. If you're gonna be a bitch, then run like a bitch. That's what I'm fucking talking about! That's what I like to hear! I'm not going to dive into the rich lore behind this, but suffice to say these two hated each other. And 1v1 me, the dumpster behind Wendy's, I'll suck your cock, bro. <laughs> Men in trash talking each other, man. Dude, it's crazy. The scant seemed like the genuine guy, you know, showing up in a nice shirt, probably got off work, was like, I'm gonna go beat some guy's ass in Street Fighter. Low tier god comes in, fuck this kid, this little vampire ass bitch. This dude looks like a fucking zombie bitch. out of the walking pit. Then he comes here dressed like he got his outfit out of fucking Target. This dude looks like he lives in his basement. He looks like he never oh my god. He could possibly be a fucking vampire. And I gotta say, Holy props shit. to the people hosting the tournament for allowing these two to talk to each other like this. It shouldn't be encouraged, but if they do this shit in the UFC, you know, why not in gaming? It spices things up and makes the match more- Yeah, that's a good point, actually. Like, why is that not a- Like, why is that not allowed? It's not like they call each other slurs. He just said, you look like a bitch. You look like you walked out of Walmart. Your style is whack. Your mom's whack. Everything about you is whack. Like, it's, it's not like he's, like, you know, just going off on him and calling him names. 1v1 on shipment, no fun allowed. True. More intense, because whoever loses can't talk trash no more. Yep. Bitch! 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 Come here, bitch! bitch. Come here, bitch! This match had everything. <laughs> it felt like low tier god and the scant almost Ooh, the came fingy. to blows multiple times. The fingy. That little. That says it all. That's and it. that's it! Oh. And Jay is popping off! He is popping oh. off right now! He didn't even like, call the him thing names! He just flicked his Sometimes hand. the only way to truly defeat them is to bully them back. You heard that correctly. Bully hunters will get these harassers where it hurts them the most by beating bullies at their own game. The scant knew this, and after the chat, I want a bully hunter, man. I need, I need all the chatters that bully me. I need a bully hunter for those. So you guys can get terminated. Every time I see Spicy talk shit, I will find a bully hunter and find his Rainbow Six game and fucking clown on him. The heated battles. Count me this out. Is what he had to say. There's gonna come a point when you forget about what happened, and you're gonna want to come back at me, and you're gonna want to wash the taste of my dick out of your mouth. Oh! Oh, God is left speechless. Oh! God, he just got fucking dunked on. Holy shit, this guy just fucked him in the fucking mouth verbally. And Holy! By the verbal assassination he just endured. Oh, Would anyone remember shit, this historic got matchup? Were it not for the trash talk and the intensity behind it? And even though <sighs> that's powerful, God man, seems like a, a real douchebag. Like at the very least, you must admit his antics Holy are entertaining. Man. This type of so, 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 his cock. that you cock, got cock, stepping cock. into an arcade to go play Street Fighter 4, we will never fill again, ever. The FGC will never, there'll never be a time like this again, the way you felt competing in Street Fighter 4. You could talk all the same shit you do before, during, Power and after word, a match, cock. but just have that 
one moment of actual respect between you and the other player. Huge shout outs to both of the players for coming out under all this pressure. There was a lot of hype. Everyone saw the trash yeah. talk. It got a little personal, whatever. But at the end of the day, you know, these two are existing under the same roof. That's and right. all the trash talk aside, this is really about Street Fighter. That's great. Uh, and, you know, that was a great fight. So I think we can all agree in tournaments and esports, the pro scene, trash talk is a vital part of the game. It absolutely has a place, but it also has a limit. It's up to the organizations and tournament holders to come up with reasonable guidelines. You can be a professional and still call someone a cock-smoking bread basket. <laughs> what an insult, man. Dude, the best insults are in Russian, fight me. I'm not even capping. You can string together so many words, it's almost poetic, by the way. English doesn't even come close. Not all trash talk is beneficial or created equal. Like I said, there's Hungarian? a difference between not being creative Maybe. with your insults and just for example uh, threats oh. you want to get raped bitch you want me to rape you and like shit and and garbage like this i don't want to get waved it's, it's the <laughs> laziest most boring bullying i think i've ever seen i'm gonna rape you this german goes kind of stupid true guys. german is you, pretty you're close dumb you're stupid if you're going to insult somebody and try to get at someone and you're not even going to put any effort into it or any creativity into it you shouldn't bother doing it that's the true crime is when People just aren't creative. Like, I find it so cringe when I hear someone throw out a slur and it's like, that's all they got. You, you scream every time. Honestly, yeah. If you, if you throw the first slur, you lost. You automatically lose. No cap. Yeah. Like, the whole, like, uh, washing your, like, what he, what he said about, like, the taste of my dick in your mouth, it, well, that was so peak. And it's not even that insulting in terms of like actual like slurs or insults. And look, he said, "Oh my God, you're so gay. You have a taste of my dick in your mouth." Like blah blah blah. He just literally said, "Like, how does it feel, man?" Time you die, you bitch. Shut the yeah. fuck up, fag. Is this it? Is this all you can conjure, Saddle Man? Or when there's a girl in Saddle the lobby, some dude is like. <laughs> Make me a sandwich, woman. It's like you really Don't had the neurons the working in maximum overdrive to come up with that maximum one, didn't you? Overdrive. At least ask her to mow your lawn or something. Bitch, bitch, is a bitch talking to me? Is a female talking to me? Yes, Mr. Speed, I do believe a female is talking to you. Like the best trash talk to me. I saw this. It was so cringe. It was so cringe. You can insult someone without repeating the same fucking five things over and over. I'm not even- I don't even care as a girl if you call me a bitch. I'm just saying, be creative. <laughs> like, what are you fucking waffling about, man? Like, you're just waffling and you're mad as fuck. Me is cold, calculated, creative insults. I feel like I'm a fucking gorilla with a fucking baseball bat fighting a retard with a spoon. It's making someone feel bad for reasons Holy they shit. never imagined. Or making them so confused by what you just said, they have no other reaction retort. than they don't have a retort. Laughter. Anyone can throw out racial oh slurs, but it takes a true connoisseur to stitch together an elegant sentence like, it must have been a sad day when you slithered out of the abortion bucket. You could send that <laughs> to anybody. Dude, he's dead, and I guarantee man. you, they would never forget that sentence. Nope. That's the beauty of it. I don't know, man. Trash talk and trolling, it's all about just like finding what someone gets really, really pissed off at, what upsets them, and then doing that and seeing their reaction. Other times, Holy dad shit, trash those talk fucking, is more innocent where those someone wants quality, to drop that one liner but royally screws it up. Our best is better than your worst. This is totally harmless, but noticeably embarrassing. But remember, kids, you need that consent before you talk trash and game. Damn, that was Don't quinge. forget to ask Jesus. If it reaches levels of harassment or someone's, like, making new accounts just to keep messaging you, yeah, that's too far. You're obsessed with me, you fucking fuck. And y'all niggas can clip this. This nigga come on my stream 24-7 <laughs> with a VPN getting banned thousands of times a stream. And still okay, that is really funny. If you're that committed and you buy a, like VPNs to try and get past a ban, that is so fucking funny. I'm not even gonna cap.
comes in here and sucks my dick and obsesses over me. But if you stay True, in the same lobby man. and insult and berate each other for an hour, you go your separate ways and never speak to each other again, well, what's the harm? Now, there is a more toxic side to this, naturally. Children that hop into online voice chat, commonly referred to as squeakers. Squeakers! Well, we don't exactly want to traumatize I'm a, a fucking squeaker. kid. But then again, parents. <laughs> it gets so high pitched, man. It's so good. It starts high pitched and then it gets better three times. <laughs> Ree! 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 Was that you, Alana? Yeah, totally. What is up? <laughs> know what their kids are doing and saying, and watching That's children so get funny. pissed off is pretty funny. There is it, an it is very part funny when kids talk. get mad. It's like sex. It should be done between two consenting adults. What was that Mortal Kombat pro player who made some fucking kid on Mortal Kombat cry? And he's like, uh, you gonna learn today. You gonna learn today. I forget. I forget what his name was. Justin Wong. That's right. Yeah. Greetings, that was so funny. I fucked your sister last night. And a good day to you, no scope baller. My sister has a dick. That's how it's uh, supposed to be. Uh. I know I'm coming across like I splooge over ye old Modern Warfare 2 lobbies, but let's also not ignore the extremely toxic side of trash talk. Like this article states, is. I put on my friend's headset, someone called me the n-word, and I stopped playing after that. This was my first and last experience with live chatting while gaming. So, you got three ways to deal with any bully in your life because online bullying is all this can be right you're not gonna get betrayed by a teammate five times and then meet up to fight in the streets unless you're there are some people that have done that i'm pretty sure there was a story somewhere that a guy killed a little fucking kid over a modern warfare game i think i'm not sure holy Gen shit G. Who lives in Smevic, Birmingham, if you want a fucking brawl. I'm glad Smevic has for Danny G. You'll come out of his house and I'll break your fucking legs. Wait, you why'd you cry, number what? One, what happened, bully, man? Don't feed the troll. You can, number two, disconnect from voice chat. Or True. number three, bully the shit out of the bully. <laughs> I understand interacting with obnoxious, that. hateful people is tough sometimes, especially if you can't just pop them in the mouth. Shut but in this article, in this case, it seems like the terrible racist comment won. Nobody's saying people can't be toxic in gaming, but I don't understand why on earth you'd let someone win. Why did you let them bully you off of a game? Why didn't you tell them to go snort coke off of a crocodile's butthole? You know? It's not like these people can unplug yeah, your Yeah, bully internet. the bullies. Fuck them. Uh, my dad actually works for- <laughs> Why did you let them win, skill issue? True. Holy. Bully me flushed. No, oh, I don't want to bully you. You're nice. Ayo! Maidenless. Yeah, I call him a little bitch. He has no girlfriend because he's fat and stupid. I learned that getting bullied online has made- more fun if you just laugh at them when they insult you. It depends on the situation. Comcast. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. My dad is Phil Spencer. Trash talk My is inevitable, and everyone has the tools to deal with it. But here's a more difficult question we need to ask ourselves. How should bad trash talk be punished? An NBA player by the name of Leonard Myers said this on a live stream while gaming. Cowards don't get snipe me, you fucking kite bitch. <laughs> Leonard was suspended for a week and the Miami Heat slapped him with a $50,000 fine. What the fuck, man? Eight days later, he was traded from the Miami Heat to the bitch. Oklahoma <laughs> Thunder, where he was released eight days afterwards and has not played an NBA game since. So you could argue Powerful. using a bad I'm word sure it was on worth it, man. ended this man's NBA career. I think that's excessive. Just recently, there was another massive overreaction to trash talk, if you could even call it that. This was in response to a teabagging incident. Yes, apparently oh, no. that is the thing no. now. Uh, no during the Valorant tournament, a player known as Dilly teabagged one of his dead allies. His allies? Dude! 
No, not even another person. He teabagged his friend. Like, huh? To which he was promptly Dude, what banned. a cry, and baby the bitch. What's this? Absolutely not. Will not tolerate that. Literally goes and fucking out of his way to jump on a death box to teabag it. Don't think so. I have a fucking pan and pattern. Yeah, so we're here to create a safe space for all gamers, everybody, and that kind of stuff will not be tolerated. This story would become. Oh my god, actually, um, if you teabag your own teammate, oh my gosh, that is a not to tolerate it. Oh my gosh. Like, shut the fuck up, loser. Didn't ask. You're stinky. I can hear his weight in his voice. I, I don't want to think of it as it's not even like about like the whole weight thing. It's like, dude, you teabagged your friend, your ally. Like what? It's a bit mainstream and people would voice their thoughts on it. Some people went so far as to claim teabagging in video games is on the same level of sexual assault in the real world. So oh my God. These people are unhinged, man. Oh my god, I got teabagged in a video game and it's equivalent to getting R.A.P.E'd? Holy man, this is so insane. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, ah! On my way to sexually teabag someone in a video game, dude. That's demented as fuck. Like, as a woman, that is insane. <laughs> so two other players made fun of these opinions. Riot's response was to ban these two players from any- BAN THEM?! Oh my god. Alana, uh, how many times have you been teabagged in video games? A million times, no sir. A million times. Like, I don't, I can't, I can't even count how many times I've teabagged someone and I've been teabagged back. Who the fuck cares, man? So fucking stupid. I teabagged like 10 people today alone in CS2. Insa! Insa, you're getting FBI'd! FBI! We're getting you, man! We're gonna get you for that fucking 10 teabags! I bear form and teabug everyone I can. Dude, I do that as a cat, too. It's so demeaning. We're gonna get you in some of our teabags. Riot sanctioned tournaments, and then they doxed them. I have my teabag bound. Spice, all for committing the crime of making fun of teabagging. It's some Dude. of the most pussy ass shit I've ever seen on the internet. Shooting bodies also counts as fucking being toxic. We'll get to those DQs later. What the like, fuck? Like, Riot released these people's full names when they weren't public. What? What? Just use their fucking screen name, dude. Yeah, so like you can't that do that. That is insane, just, like, man. Thank you for that. Ten teabags to you at the hog. Yeah, you're going straight to jail for teabagging. Mm -hmm. You're gonna tell me teabag and my own teammate is toxic. All right, so then this is where we're gonna shut the lobby down at this point because I'm not gonna get into that one because absolutely it is. In the wise words of the legendary video game donkey, what is this fucking pussy ass baby preschool time? Oh my god, he teabagged oh my dead god. body. I can't oh believe god, this horrific demon. and disgusting oh act has been normalized oh god, and accepted so... by the gaming community for the that's last so 20 bad. plus years. Oh my god, it's sexual oh assault. We need to create a safe like space for everyone except through. if you happen to crouch Andrew. down next to an ally's body more than three times. Then your ass is grass and I will publicly shame you on my live stream. Because I was so that insane, kid in elementary man. school that got a hard on every time I told on someone and they got in trouble. Oh my god. That is actually the same thing. Yeah, he's right. There was always that little rat in school who would just always get like a little fucking boner every time they told off told you to the teacher. Told you off. Best reply is always shutting down the convo because you don't have any arguments to make. Or just mute them. Or block them. Or report them. Just like... Who gives a fuck? Wait a minute, no, why didn't no, people hang out with me after high dead. school? No. The organization behind this decision to ban Dilly for teabagging wrote a freaking novel about it to double down what? and try to- This is essaying at its finest, dude. Dilly, I love the quote on Dilly, 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 toxic behavior. Dude, this is some fucking top tier essaying. Who the fuck? Ass, man, holy shit. TLDR don't care to get teabagged, yep.
I ain't reading all that. Nope. It looks like me when I type the Xavix, dude, and say you're not that bad. Honest to God. <laughs> Grow a pair, bro. Try to justify this obvious Who overreaction. Asked? What I find Holy. so funny about a company like Riot saying they're trying to fight against toxicity in the gaming space is that the <laughs> same company that just settled out of court for $100 million in a gender discrimination lawsuit. Oh, yeah, that was a classic. Yeah, let's, uh, Let's focus on the tea bag. Literally so virtual signaling at this point. Where I feel like relatively harmless trash talk is treated like a fucking battery charge. These kinds of moments feel disingenuous to me because the punishment doesn't fit the crime. But perhaps this is the future of competitive gaming. God, I hope not. In the casual competitive environment, you know those matches where it's yeah. just people playing ranked? Yeah. That's when people get a bit fierce. Why did you run for the sniper instead of grabbing the flag, you baboon? This level of competition in- <laughs> Oh, people grow a little before. You fucking baboon! Get on the fucking point! Hey! Stills a desire to win at all costs. You'll find Suck that on a pacifier, trash talk loser, is much the more nest. toxic in ranked modes than unranked, which is why I don't play ranked League of Legends, because I'd rather get bit by a wolf spider the nine black widows. This is especially prevalent in games like League and Overwatch because there's always someone to blame other than yourself. But True. that's the thing developers Your need mother. to realize. Engaging in shit talk is a choice. I don't like the toxicity in League's ranked mode, so I don't play it. The other main reason people or you talk just mute the entire lobby for their own That's what I do. and for the entertainment of I others. Just don't give a fuck. A lot I'll of play people the game. don't like Keemstar, but his early videos were extremely creative. This is fucking boring as hell. I'd rather fucking teabag a bear trap. That's what I mean when I talk <laughs> about the art of trash talk. And if you I'd go, I'd rather teabag a bear trap. Now that's creative. I like that, dude. That was good. Even further back to the days of ventrilo harassment. Well, gamers are certainly an angry bunch sometimes. Oh my I think God, it's perfectly this fine to make content based on people getting pissed off as long as you're tactful about it. You go into the comments of these old videos and you see people nostalgic. They're reminiscing on the golden era of trash, trash talk. talk. It represents <laughs> a time before Skype and Discord were mainstream and in-game chat was just the default, you know? Oh They're my terrible God! mics. Dude, why is it that when I flash somebody, it's like I just slap them in the face with a fucking napkin from a little kid's birthday party? But it's. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, holy shit! <laughs> Dude, that's not. That is like the softest insult, like the softest little fucking jab ever. <laughs> It seems developers nowadays <laughs> oh, see this good. type of trash talk as detrimental to the business model. Back in the day, so it was mad. pretty common to see the mic symbol next to every player in a lobby, meaning at the very least they had it plugged in and could hear. It seems gaming back then just had a higher emphasis on it building had a soul. community, it or at least giving soul, players man. as many ways as possible to interact with each other, be it good or bad. Clearly a lot of people enjoyed soul, this bro. kind of verbal war. I myself rarely jumped into the fray, but I'd always plug my mic in just to hear what kind of crazy ass shit people would talk. I tuned in for the pure salt. Some games are so good about this, they actually talk trash for the player. Go eat another box of dog trees. <laughs> like the episode three game. Which one of those buttons calls for help? <laughs> That's pretty funny. <cool. laughs> <laughs> or with That's Overwatch, weird. where voice lines can be spammed for maximum irritation. Like everything in life, there's a time- And then they stopped it because it was considered harassment and annoying. Yeah, I remember that. Yep. I'm in a place for trash talk. In some ways, it should be Salt encouraged, flavor or at least allowed. Everything. I think Food developers should stop game. treating trash talk like some virulent plague that's infested the world of gaming. I think most times it's pretty harmless, and usually it's obvious when it's not. The fuck you say to me, you little shit? Make fun of people for their skills, not their gender or their race or whatever. That's not creative or funny. A little rivalry adds to the intensity and makes us more competitive. Shit. And I think video games would be far less interesting if people didn't care enough to think up some witty insult or pull out their guitar just to try and roast another guy. So yeah, you're gay. <laughs> Dude, that's such a classic, I forgot. So it
anyway, you're gay. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> So good. <laughs> it's so good. Pull out their guitar just to try and roast another guy. So yeah, you're gay. <laughs> if anything, trash talk is <laughs> something so that should good, be enjoyed man, I love from it. afar. It's a part of life and it's a part of competition. <laughs> and so perhaps trash talk does have a place in gaming. Maybe. Hmm. Just maybe. Yeah. It makes life just a bit more interesting. Yeah. And this concludes today's lesson on video game trash talk. Thank you all for tuning into this lecture, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Class dismissed. Yay! Oh, I is fucking flat. It tastes like some big solid black dude named fucking Rakuin. Pull the fucking bed sheet off the <laughs> of my head and just proceed to skull fuck me. <laughs> good <laughs> super seeds to skull fuck me if anyone pisses me off in games where i type back i say i hope you wake up one day with the avengers cast Big around piss. your bed massive piss <laughs> i have the same insult to tell them i hope your make a wish dream comes true tomorrow <laughs> guys you gotta fucking kill me holy shit dude <laughs> I have the achievement in TF2 where you dominate a player and they leave the lobby. Here, Alana, I can give you a better one-on-one on shit talk than the act, but when you play a Riot game, just say this. I'm not gonna say it. You say it first, bitch. <laughs> don't Arctic foxes eat poop? I don't know, dumbass. You eat poop on the daily out of your mom's butthole when you were born! I like telling people to get their cold bed and warn themselves. <laughs> Is that Belle Delphine? Yes. Many kudos. Do you play League of Lana? I used to when I was younger. Belle. I'm gonna... <laughs> Excuse me. I'm gonna be honest. I feel like a lot of men that used to like Belle Delphine, as soon as she started doing like real full on like corn, it lost its charm to them. At least that's from what I've heard. Clapgers, 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 clapgers. Good video, very funny. Reminded me a lot of shit. Very good, very good. Mommy, piss, 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 shit, piss, 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 piss. <laughs> Fuck fucking shit on calm piss myself. Fuck 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 piss my piss 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 piss